Welcome back. Dan Bellsman joins me, the head coach of the Pittsburgh Penguin, Penguins. And we're seeing the fans here. They're going crazy. Excited to see yourself as well as the Penguins organization take part in this rookie tournament. How has it been going for you? This is day two. Well, it's uh, a great tournament to have our kids come and compete against uh, guys on equal footing, guys who are trying to break in NHL lineups, and it gives them a great chance to compete. We've seen some of our first rounders. I've never seen them play before. To see them out here competing uh, in our jersey is good, and it'll, it'll lead into camp for us. One thing I really admire about you is your resiliency. That's something that you've instilled in the Pittsburgh Penguins organization. How do you instill that with the rookies here? Well, it started before this tournament in our development camp in the summertime, but we talk about who we are and how we want to play, and uh, every time we step on the ice and in every situation, we want to be like that, whether it's the rookies here at this tournament, development camp, Wilkes-Barre or the Penguins, and that's something we breed into our team and we've been able to do pretty well at. Playing on your toes and not on your heels is something that you speak fondly of to your youngsters. Uh, what's one piece of advice that maybe someone has given to you that you want to translate here? Well, I think personally you, you want to make an impression with how you play. You want to leave the scouts, the coaches, uh, an impression with how you play the game. And, and the same thing goes for our team. When, when you leave the building, when the fans leave the building, what are they saying about us? And we want to be an aggressive team. We want to be on our toes. We want to uh, play in your face kind of uh, kind of hockey, whether that's with skill or physicality or speed. So uh, the kids here today should be doing that and trying to take advantage of the situation. On a different note, big skates to fill with the news of Sidney Crosby possibly being out for the remainder of the starting of the season. Uh, who out of the five centers featured in this rookie tournament really stand out in your eyes that could possibly fill that void in future years? Well, I think, uh, you know, we, I don't, <laughs> you're talking about filling shoes of a, of one of the best, if not the best player in the world. That's not going to happen here with a player in this tournament. But, you know, we have a considerable amount of depth at that position. Zach Sill is a guy who's uh, having uh, probably uh, the best player for us tonight in this game. He's a sentiment who could fill a sentiment role. And we have other players as well. Dustin Jeffries has been highlighted at this tournament before. He's uh, had a great year last year coming off an injury, heading into camp. He's a guy who could fill uh, that center position if need be, if, if we need some depth there. Who are some other players that really stand out in your mind, maybe from the Leafs organization as well? You got a chance to see both teams here tonight. Uh, any rookies that really stand out? I, I, uh, I particularly like Kevin Veyu's game today. He hasn't been on the ice much because he's been in the box, but he's made a statement with the way he's played. Uh, Billy DeFazio for us is really a guy coming out of nowhere, a free agent type of player. He's had a couple good games. Zach still has been very good today. You see our first rounder, Joe Morrow, has uh, showed he can skate. Um, I've been impressed with, uh, you know, a couple of the Leafs players. Uh, the Ross is making an impression with at least getting in the faces of some of our players, but... Uh, you know, it's been a spirited game by both sides, so we're waiting for the third. It always is a spirited game between the Penguins okay. and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Your birthday is in eight days, so a happy early yeah, birthday you. to you and thank enjoy you. it, and good luck with the rest of the season. All right, thanks, Michelle. Dan Belzma, the head coach of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Don't go anywhere. The guys will bring you your period highlights of this 2011 rookie tournament after the break.